Good evening, everyone. My name is Rob Smith. I'm the president of the Almond Glen Owners Association, your homeowners association here in Almond Glen, and uh, one of the board members. It is Friday, August the 31st. It's about, oh, look at the clock, 7.41 p.m., and I'm going to give you what I can as far as Carolina disposal. So, um, obviously, quick update for anybody who maybe you're, you don't know what happened and you don't know why the trash is piling up everywhere, which I don't really know why the trash is piling up everywhere, but I'll give you what I have. Um, earlier in the week, we noticed that the Monday pickup didn't happen. Things were pushed back to Tuesday. Wednesday pickup was becoming an issue or we were told it was going to be Thursday, and then that got pushed to Friday. So I want to say it was Wednesday, somewhere around in there. <clears throat> we started reaching out saying, hey, what's going on exactly? And I specifically talked with uh, Tabitha, which is one of the girls in the office. For all I know, she's the only girl in the office. I think they've got several people that work in their office, but she's like, she takes the phone calls. She, she deals with people like us calling in and saying, hey, what's going on? And I spoke with Tabitha and I asked her, uh, what's going on? I need more than just what's on the website, which says unexpected delays. The way it was, it was explained made it sound like they have four trucks that service different areas throughout Charlotte, Fort Mill, that kind of thing, Lancaster County, <clears throat> and that two of the trucks were having some sort of issue. They were down. Now, I don't know what that means. That could be the vehicles themselves aren't running. That could be the compactors. I, I don't know. I, I didn't ask specifically for that, um, though I feel like I'll need a better explanation going in next week, obviously. Um, I was told a third truck went down and at that point it became kind of a situation of desperation because they couldn't keep up with all the different service contracts they have trying to go around and process and pick up rivers but trash so everybody was getting delayed and it's robbing peter to pay paul we'll get you tomorrow we'll do you today well so they're going through running around trying to maintain their contracts fort mill was pushed back to friday and as the day approached we're looking forward to getting rid of all of the garbage that's piled up and understanding that, of course, now they've got to make probably multiple runs because there's waste and there's recycling. There's waste that was piled up from last week. And I, they don't want the recycling thrown in with the waste because it's cheaper for them to dump recycling than it is for them to dump waste. So the, the owner of the company would prefer the recycling be done separate. I was reading on their webpage, somebody was saying, why was the recycling tossed in with the trash and uh, and not properly recycled or whatever? That's I think a lot of times people think that there's some sort of benefit to them putting it all together. It actually hurts them. They would rather have all recycling to dump and no waste because the recycling is cheaper. So I know that. I have that information. I know that they had one truck that they were running around with. <clears throat> I don't know. What their plan was, if they, I don't know if they thought they were gonna get another truck running today and that was gonna fix it and the part didn't come in or they didn't get it fixed or what. I don't, I don't understand exactly and I'm, I'm just as confused about this as anybody else. Carolina Disposal, let's just talk about the company. First of all, we have a contract with Carolina Disposal. Now that means they have to uphold their side of the contract, obviously, but if you have as is old school cell phone service since everybody's not in contract for the most part. But if you have a cell phone service with somebody or if you've got Dish Network or something and the weather blocks the Dish Network or you don't get good service for a couple days because of a storm or something goes down with towers, you don't automatically get to just go, you know what, I'm out of my contract. So I don't know what this means for us and our contract with Carolina Disposal. However, I do know it is very expensive and difficult to switch services. So when we do these service changeovers, for instance, when we, we have a couple vendors we use. We use Landscaper, we use um, a pool company, we use a management company, and we use a trash company for the for townhomes specifically. They're off the top of my head, I think that's it. And we've got little mini contracts we have at different places that handle different things. But those are our main vendors that we use. And the board tries to really do a good job selecting them because one, they take things off of us specifically off of me, since I handle the role of the president, that means I'm generally a person reaching out to you. Something that I don't know that all HOAs do that. Um, maybe they all do it. Maybe the, maybe the president's constantly out there in every homeowner association. Every homeowner association I lived in, I never heard from anybody on the board. So I always think it's nice to reach out. Try to be available to people. But the bad side of that is that here it is on a Friday and uh, I'm stressed out because the pool contract this year has been abysmal. I, I am beyond displeased 
and there's very specific people at Aquatech who have gone above and beyond trying to do service recovery, but I'm, I'm sick of service recovery. And if, for those of you who aren't in the service industry or you don't recognize that term, ser there's, there's service you do and that's where you do a good job all the time. And then, you know, your customer service, you're, everybody's used to that. And then service recovery is where you messed up and now we got to do it. We got we to gotta do everything we can to fix it. And uh, you can be the greatest company in the world with service recovery, but if your service stinks on the front end, you know, I'm tired of the service recovery. So I'm dealing with issues with the pool. Um, and a lot of it's stuff that people don't see. It's behind the scenes, but... It's frustrations that we are having to uh, put up with. And it's not the pool is not running the way it's supposed to. It's not running the way we contracted for. So again, we're back to having to go back and say, you didn't fulfill your contract, we want some money back, that kind of thing. Which, getting money back on our contract doesn't do us as a neighborhood any good. So again, that's service recovery. That's not what I want. I don't want service recovery. Um, we got things with AMG. We had some problems with AMG where things had kind of run off the rails a little bit. There was too much work for a few people, and we were having that. We had the issues where it turned out taxes hadn't been paid. Some of that was old problems. Some of that was new problems. Um, but we got that sorted out, and now we have uh, Ashley, who's managing our property. She is doing a bang up job, and she's committing herself. So we got AMG under control and fixed, and that's been very pleasing but then we did the violation notices which obviously frustrated people and i i was prepared for that i was like hey we're obviously gonna make some people upset or make a lot of people happy because they're glad to see the violations going out i mean i got a violation notice from my trash can i have to fix my trash can blind uh situation which i'm taking care of um but I was glad to get the notice because it meant that the board finally was going to care again so uh, you know in the past boards cared but it's hard to commit, you know, and I, I wanted to, two years ago, I think I said, I want to do something with, with going out and getting things done. When Paul was on the board, he wanted to go after things. He wanted to work on the, he specifically chose he was going to go after edging and mowing. Uh, he was just going to focus, and it didn't work out because the neighborhood rebelled. And Well, I mean, they didn't rebel. There was a lot of squabbling. Just like now, there was a lot of frustration because people haven't been held to the standard in a long time. When you've not been held to a standard in a long time, it's frustrating when all of a sudden the standard is applied and and even for those of us who you know I keep my yard nice I keep my house looking nice um, but I didn't get through the inspection without any issues and I, I know that I could get caught again and I don't have any ability to stop it just because I'm on the board um, I have I have no ability to stop it I shouldn't be able to and then of course you got Carolina disposal <laughs> just adding to my frustrations adding to the neighborhood's frustrations fueling the internet, proverbial internet fire. I was asked tonight in an email, and I've been asked several times, why don't we bring back the dumpsters? Nobody wants the dumpsters by their homes. And the person got mad because I told them in an email, I don't know who they are because they didn't put their name in the email. They, they chose to remain anonymous. I could go back and figure it out. It's not that hard, but I didn't care to. Ultimately, they're frustrated, and I hope they see this so that they can kind of get an idea of where I was coming from. Nobody wants those dumpsters back. The people that want the dumpsters don't want them by their house, but they want the dumpsters back in the neighborhood because they think they were better. It's like we romanticize things, but the, the dumpsters were terrible every single week. It's why we went to a new service. It's why we went out as a board and we looked and I said, listen, let's, let's try this. I've had a couple of people reach out and say the same thing of, you know, well, I never wanted that service. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I can't please everybody. Um, Generally speaking, when the service is running well, when you put your trash out on Monday and they swing through by 10 a.m. and pick it all up, it's great. When they come by on Thursday and they grab the recycling that we did not have under the dumpsters and you would not have under the dumpsters because we couldn't afford extra dumpsters specifically for recycling and then it wouldn't get dumped properly because people don't want to sort things and stuff like that. It's a huge headache. Um, and something we were not able to do. I know you can tell me, well, my sister's daughter's friend's neighborhood does it. That's not our neighborhood. It's just, we have a different kind of neighborhood. We have a, di a different dynamic. Every neighborhood's different. The dynamic here is that the single family homeowners would dump their trash in the dumpsters. They would get overflowed. We had people from outside the community come in and it was just a disaster with the dumpsters. Every week I got complaints about the dumpsters. So we went to this new service and it's been going pretty well. Once we got through um, the hiccups in the beginning, some user error where people just didn't understand 
what they're allowed to put in their trash and what they're not, and what they're allowed to do with the recycling and what they're not. We got through that. And I've had a few people say, you know, this has been totally inconsistent. And that's, that's mostly been user error. Um, holidays always throw things off and people didn't understand that. Next week's gonna be confusing to people. Tuesday, the pickup will happen instead of Monday and then they'll think Thursday, they're gonna put the trash out and they'll forget. No matter how many times they've been told that Friday will be the pickup for the trash. And I'll say it now so that at least we can point one more time where you're like, you were told there too. Um, a lot of people will get it though and they will have no problem and you don't hear from them because they don't go on the internet and rant about things because they're fine. Um, they don't send emails. Um, it's just different. So this is very frustrating and please see it in my face and hear it in my voice. This is very frustrating. The trash was supposed to be picked up today. I was told by Tabitha in the office who her shift ended at four, they closed the office at four, but I was told the trash people were out and I messaged, I wanna be sure, I wanna be clear, they're gonna work until the trash is gone in Fort Mill, they're gonna get it. And for all I know, the guys are out there on the road someplace right now and they're dumping trash and they'll be back in here and you know, at nine o'clock tonight, we'll hear them out there taking trash away and people will be happy to see them if they do that. Somebody will complain they came so late at night. Let's face it, somebody will say it was rude of them to come so late at night, but, um, but people would be happy to see them in the neighborhood in general, and that's what matters. But right now, this is, this is disheartening, it's, it's frustrating. We chose uh, Carolina Disposal, and I meant to focus this video completely on Carolina Disposal. We chose Carolina Disposal because we wanted a company who was well established in the area. Liberty was a newer company that came through and they did a bang up job for a couple of years, and then they just went to, they went south and now we know why it was because they had internal squabbles and issues going on and they were suing each other the owners and then they ended up um, in the situation where they did where they sold off the active waste and they were just trying to keep subscribers on so that they uh, they could keep the value of the company up enough to sell it to active so that that's why we didn't sign on I mean imagine if we had a signed on with them you know and I of course, the trash got picked up tonight, so I actually would have probably picked up the trash. But when we went to we went out looking for a new service. We wanted valet pickup from each of the homes, um, the the town homes, so we could get rid of those dumpsters and resolve that issue. We wanted two time a week pickup because you don't have a lot of place to. Where are you gonna put all your garbage? You don't have any place to put it. You need to get rid of it. So Monday it's gone. Thursday it's gone. You got to make it through the weekend on Monday again. 40 gallon can or 45 gallon, whatever the can size is you're allowed to have. Um, that should hold you over. Put it out, it's gone. I mean, the idea was pretty simple. Um, finding a company who would do it was difficult. I had one company tell me flat out, nobody needs two time a week pickup. So, I don't know what to tell you. Um, even once we got the price, Carolina Disposal was not the cheapest. They weren't even the cheapest company. They were they were a more established company. So they uh, they said no. We'll it's our price, and we we argued back and forth, negotiated. We worked in some deals, and we got them to lower the price down even more. I don't even use them for my company. I use a different company, so I couldn't even couldn't even argue my uh, my service. I did use the the poker chip of you know hey we we might be able to get the neighborhood to go to one service. Can't promise anything. Um, they didn't even. They didn't even hold us to that as far as like it wasn't they gave us a price that we were able to work with um so it was real excited when carolina disposal came in and right now i don't know i don't know where that relationship is i need answers next week and i'm one of many people in line to get answers and i am a 64 townhome contract they have much bigger contracts throughout fort mill with townhomes and things like that so i'm a i'm a little fish but I, I think I should still get some answers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I certainly think we should be credited uh, for the lack of pickup. I wish I had dates from every time somebody said that they'd not picked up. Uh, but, I, but I find that that's hit and miss. It's not like the entire neighbor, their entire 64 townhomes were missed. It's like they missed my uh, townhome. And that's, it's hard for me to know why. I don't know what time you put your trash out. I don't know if you put it off to the side over here and you normally put it over there. I, I, I have no way of knowing in those situations. Now, if they missed all of the townhomes, I need to know that. So I would hope that somebody would reach out to us through one of our many sources um, and, and let us know that, hey, we, are, we didn't get any pickup today at all. Um, that would help because then I could put it on a calendar somewhere 
And when I have problems like this, I could go back and say, this is the 15th time in a couple months that you've missed us. What, what's going on? And I could, I could demand some money back. But again, that's service recovery. I don't want service recovery. I want the trash picked up this week. So I am frustrated. I am sorry. Uh, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. I didn't hire a bad company. I hired an established company with years of service within the community. I didn't, uh, I didn't pay the, the lowest company, uh, the lowest dollar that I could possibly pay. I got the lowest dollar I could get from these guys, but they weren't the cheapest company. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm bewildered at this point. And, and I don't even know if it's, uh, this may be the only time this ever happens in their history. The, these guys, they may get their trucks all up and running next week be super apologetic, issue a refund for the week, and three, four weeks from now, it may be all uh, distant memory until we have any other issues in the past, in the future. But that's that's where we are, and I'm I'm very disheartened. I'm very frustrated. I'm I'm apologetic for what it's worth, um, though. Again, I know it's not my fault, but still, I'm sorry it's happening to you. I guess is is more the thing. Um, I'm aware of it because my neighbors have that company and I can see their trash piled up in front of their home and I feel, I feel bad for them too. So I, uh, I'm not sorry because I did anything wrong, but I'm sorry that this is happening to you for sure. And that's where my frustration comes from. I, I don't like having neighbors that are going through a mess. So I don't know what else I can do right now. Um, I don't have the, I don't have the ability to fix it right now. I, I am, I am hopeful that they are still out picking up trash and they're going to show up in our neighborhood and this video will be kind of moot. Um, and I'm using that term appropriately when you figure that moot means it's still something you can discuss. It's just kind of a dead issue. But we, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to go back to them on it. However, I wanted to reach out because I felt like it's important to hear from somebody so that you know what's going on and I know not everybody's on Facebook and I know not everybody even sees these videos but this is my thought on it and I don't know the answer to it I think that you know there's a lot of people who will probably have their own answers um, firing Carolina disposal come Monday morning or Tuesday morning is, is not an option I mean even if we wanted to even if we could if, we, if they said yeah if you want to break a contract we totally understand you break a contract i don't have anybody to pick your trash up it took remember we had to overlap the dumpsters we did a month overlap so uh and you, we saw with u.s lawns how well that goes when you overlap even i thought i thought if i ended the service the month u.s lawns tried to quit on us early so that's the other side of this too we're firing u.s lawns and dealing with them and at the same time we're trying to get through the last month so we can bring in our new company and it's what a what a disaster just every everything we've tried to do has been a frustration and it's by no means the fault of my fellow board members they they all are trying to get things done we hire a company and we we say here here's money you are a good reputable company with a solid reputation you are known in the area and there are people in our own community who use you here's money please come and do the job and and they say yes we'll be there and then they're not there it's like any other contractor and then we have to hunt them down and and say come on come do your job and that's that's so annoying so we will go after them monday or up tuesday tuesday I, I here's my thoughts i i i'm hoping they pick up our trash tonight and they work late and they get it all done if not i mean i, I there's nobody to call there's nobody in the office even for me to call but they're supposed to be out picking up trash saturday morning We'll blow their phones up. We'll leave messages like crazy on their Facebook page, stuff like that. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from the last one that I sent. But uh, hopefully if they don't show up tonight, they show up tomorrow. <laughs> and Because uh, I don't know what the answer is if the trash is sitting there till Tuesday. I, I don't even know. I'm, I, don't, I don't even know what to tell you. I, again, I'm so sorry it's happening to you. I know some of you are saying, well, if we had the dumpsters, we'd go to the dumpsters. If we had the dumpsters, the dumpsters would be overflowing beyond belief right now. Um, and I know some of you are newer to the neighborhood. Some of you might remember back when I used to go over and pick the trash bags up and throw them in the trash uh, from where they were piled up all around the dumpsters before we switched from Republic to Liberty. And then Liberty did good for a long time. And then Liberty fell off and I was back to picking dumpster bags of trash up and throwing them in the dumpster. It's just... It's like trash has always been an issue. So 20 minute video and I apologize for that. 
to hear nothing other than just me say, I'm very sorry this is happening to you. Please have as good a Labor Day weekend as you can. Thank you.